Hello, we are coming on live. Um, oh, my Wi Fi is <laughs> fine. Forgot to check on my Wi Fi, but let's just assume it's good. Yeah, let's expect that it's good. Um, so today is Saturday, and if you're watching me live for the first time, I'm doing live because I'm on challenge and I like to make these lives more meaningful instead of just doing for sake of doing. So I come on to share a learning or share a story. And today is Saturday. It's a day to spend with my niece and I like to share a story. It was interaction. It's an interaction I have with my niece, you know. Every Saturday I pick her up and I will walk past a little garden and there's butterflies. So on my way to pick her out, I'll pass by the garden and I'll see butterflies. And when I pick her, I'll tell her that, hey, you know, there are lots of butterflies today. She said, really? And when she when we on our way back, we don't see any. So there was once I teased her, I said that, you know what? I think the butterflies like me. I said, no. Okay. So it's a bit hard to explain to a seven-year-old why the butterflies like me more than her. Okay, and I also want to be sensitive to their emotions. So moving forward, when we arrive at the garden area, I always ask her, just before we are arriving, I'll ask her, okay, so where are the butterflies? You see, I was setting an expectation that she's going to see the butterfly. So this went on and on. And today, as always, I'll go, hey, so where are the butterflies? And we kept our eyes wide open. And today we have a really special butterfly. It almost looked like a leaf. It was well camouflaged. I saw it flying around. She spotted it as well. And it was a light green butterfly that blended so well with its surrounding and um, my niece said this is a really good butterfly and i'm going to share the picture later on my post i said why because it's really good it's nice it's big and it allowed us to take a photo of it so what has butterfly got to do with a learning you see when it comes to butterflies if you heard about me sh sharing the attract butterflies in five day challenge, it's just to have fun with it, learning to attract into our life what we want. And why butterflies? Because learning to attract something into our lives, it might be a new concept. If it's new to you and you say, oh, I like to attract something practical like money, that adds a little bit of stress because you want to make it happen, you're a bit anxious about it. So using butterflies is relaxing because seriously, who doesn't like butterflies? It's just so happy little creatures flying around. And learning to attract butterflies, once you get the hang of it, it's the same as attracting anything else you want. So initially, we need to learn how to ask, like ask that I want to attract butterflies into my life, we have to ask a couple of times and slowly we get to see it. And when you ask for something over and over again, you cannot expect it that it becomes second nature. You do not have to ask. Just imagine if you go to a regular cafe, you always ask for latte with low fat milk, right? If you go there, day after day after day, and if it's the same barrister, after a period of time, when you arrive at the cafe, you, you see the barrister, you look each other into the eye, and he or she knows exactly what coffee you want. So you start to expect it. And when it comes to kids, that's the thing about kids is that as much as they have great imagination, they have great energy, great vibe, I still do not know how to explain to a seven-year-old how the idea get implanted in their subconscious mind. Adults are a bit different. You no, know, we we are not as imagination, uh, not as imaginative. However, we have the ability to control our thoughts, so we can do it through repetition. That you keep asking, "I want to see butterfly, I want to see butterflies," and over time, it becomes 
a habit you kind of expect it and after a while you see it because you already embedded within your subconscious mind and kids don't have the ability yet when they are young so that's why you lead them to like how I lead my niece I'll ask her so where are the butterflies and she expect it so unknowingly she has an idea that whenever I walk past this particular garden there will always be butterflies so since it might be a weekend for you you might be out in the nature uh, why not have some fun us to see some butterflies today it might be real it might be a picture who knows but that's the practice or the habit I'm trying to instill in myself is that yes as much I can attract butterflies in my life there are still some old habits that I'm still not good at when I ask for the bigger ticket items so I'm constantly practice and if you just want to have some fun today to attract some butterflies into your life I will leave a link in the comment box below on how do you go about doing it it's really easy don't get too stressed about it have some fun you get excited trust me after a while you see lots of butterflies like as I speak now I'm looking out my window I know there's a yellow butterfly that always comes about like I'm keeping my eyes open it's expected right now that I will see butterflies and I often see many you see I just saw one <laughs> like literally the orange butterfly just flew past like that's how it is like once you start to expect things starts to come so when you start to expect simple things like a butterfly you get a hang of it you can learn to expect the bigger things in life and it comes effortlessly okay so just a simple fun sharing for today I'm also going to share a picture of the uh, this morning and it, uh, feel free to hashtag replay if you're watching this on a replay and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for my next live take care bye bye and hi Ben thanks for watching <laughs>